as the sundial revolves anew, we approach the long-awaited hype cycle for a fourth exquisitely unnecessary Mass Effect sequel. But while the jury's still out on whether or not an Asari with a Blade Runner makeup job or a Firefly skin is enough to justify a $60 investment, if the brain trust array to produce the goddamn thing is any indication, I'd sooner donate to a cooties clinic. For those mercifully on a prize of the progressive's perpetual game of outrage roulette, the latest revolution of the wheel landed squarely on Deus Ex Mankind Divided, namely an off-handed bit of marketing drawing parallels between the so-called mechanical apartheid and Black Lives Matter that were at least twice as harmless as they were tasteless. But I agree, we should be offended by the comparisons. After all, one is a dystopian goat fuck unbound by the strictures of reality whose very existence augurs the advent of a hellish cyberpunk future, and the other is Deus Ex Mankind Divided. And at the center of it all, seemingly unbidden, was a senior designer at Bioware of all places currently pinching out Mass Effect Andromeda, busily broiling the bullshit. Feel free to follow the link in the description for details as I refuse to dignify him by naming the bushy brown bigot. A shaven epidermal DMZ between those fucking things. You're a Rogaine facial away from being Bert and Ernie, asshole. What emerged was a wellspring of white-bashing racism. Oh, Vanna? Worse still, as evidenced by a CBC News article about the half-assed horseshittery that was the Odd Lives Matter non-traversy, Bioware are apparently actively allowing this Punjabi pissant to run point guard for their PR department. If we take subject matter like Black Lives Matter and we don't fully present it within the same context, or we twist it to serve our own context, he ululates, it looks like we're taking their goals and using it for our own gain. Fuck, I hate that appropriation shit, don't you, Haji? It'd be like moving to Canada and then whinging about white people or, uh... Shit, I don't know. Uh, some Jeremiah Wright Riemann New Black Panther preemie popping police in the name of an ostensibly peaceful Black Lives Matter protest while you were too busy running rebuttal duty on the twatter to actually repudiate the wall-eyed fucknut. If your argument were any more about convenience, you'd be serving me a slurpee with it, Babu. And before anyone pisses, whines, or lets their nostrils dilate to nine for perceived racism, remember this is the same magic carpet riding motherfucker who stated on Twitter, I hate white People! You want to appoint yourself the arbiter of the Melanin Tribunal? You want to chide others for an accident of ancestry? Welcome to the kingdom of man, you racist asshat. You too are subject to rebuke. What's good for the goose is good for the goat fucker. And I guarantee if Bioware learned they were cutting checks to a Caucasian as cock-thrustingly enthusiastic in his desire to be ass-rammed by, say, Rommel, as this Jim Henson creature shop looking oaf is to be butt-fucked by Farrakhan, motherfucker'd have to mail in for his walking papers. Bioware is a polyp on the puckered hemorrhoidal asshole of hypocrisy. If a Caucasian cunt from QA posted publicly on Twitter that he was gonna hightail it out of medicine hat because Kunta Kinte next door got his lip disced, you'd fire that fucker into the sun and don't you goddamn deny it. I ain't asking for his job here. Christ knows he could use the money to wax his T-zone. But the next time you send your PR puppet out to cock fence with a competitor while feigning dispassionate reports Approval on the subject of race relations, make sure he's rescinded his membership in the Nation of Domination first. Until such time, the only thing more closed than your forums is my wallet. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed! White man, white man. We're getting some new experiences out of it, but we're also reflecting a more fair, less, less negative society by doing it. Hey!